Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, this is going to be your new moon in Cancer reading. Now this new moon is taking place on July 9th or July 10th and it represents the first steps on the new and higher path that the eclipses have laid out for us. This new moon in the nurturing and protective sign of Cancer, which is your opposite sign, connects with Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Uranus is here to make sure that change happens. Neptune brings imagination and the possibility of a cherished dream to the mix. And Pluto will ensure you release something you've been holding on to that's been holding you back. We also have Venus opposing Saturn and squaring Uranus. So Venus wants to indulge in love, luxuries, and the finer things in life. But Saturn is here to provide reasons why some or all of the above cannot happen, or at least not right now. So we may experience restrictions and limitations in our love lives, finances, or both. And before this new moon, Venus and Uranus have a brief little spat, and the end result is that you'll be encouraged to get out of your romantic and financial comfort zone. So you're about to be more innovative and experimental when it comes to romance and your cash flow. All right, my dear Capricorns, as I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards that I'm using, I also have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, Capricorns, let's see. Oof, all right, that came flipping out. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is the energy coming into this new moon. So this is definitely water energy. You could have that in your chart or you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, the Knight of Cups though really takes a look at commitment, okay? It really takes a look at, you know, sometimes when it comes up in reverse, it can be a player type energy, but it doesn't have to. It can just be that you're reevaluating your commitments or you're in a connection where somebody's reevaluating their commitment. It can be your commitment to your job, to your passion, um, to your health and wellness regimen. It can be many, many different things. Now, the Knight of Cups, though, is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this on the 7-7 portal, but I'm getting really strong Orion energy, and Orion was the hunter. So, you know, for some of you guys, you really enjoy the thrill of the hunt, but you're not sure about the follow through, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody where this is what you're questioning. So just take it how it resonates, guys. All right, let's go ahead and see uh, what needs to be released here. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting here is some of you guys, um, you may need to let go of an air sign. Okay, somebody who... Um, you know, I, I feel like you're really taking a look, a really good hard look at a communication, or maybe you've sent somebody a communication and they haven't quite responded yet. Um, what I'm also seeing here, Capricorn, is that you are growing and you are evolving. And some of you may not feel exactly ready for this next step, or maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't feel ready for this next step. Um, but I really like this energy because the Page of Swords is really analyzing the tools that you know, he or she has, really taking a look at communication, really taking a look at what is and isn't in alignment with you. Um, or, you know, um, you know, it can also be an energy here of spying. So I do feel like somebody here is thinking about taking action or they're very nervous or hesitant about taking action. Um, it could be that somebody wants to make some sort of proposal or job offer or take a relationship to the next level, um, but they're really holding back and they're really kind of hesitant. Now, of course, this could be your energy. So here you are, Capricorn. Um, this is These are the intentions that you need to set. So we have the devil energy. So this is about doing things that are only in alignment with with your highest and greatest good. So what I mean by that is this is all about walking your, you know, being on your soul's path, walking your light Capricorn. And what I mean is that it's doing things that make you happy, not doing things to necessarily please others. And it doesn't mean that you enter into, you know, you enter, you go down a path of complete debauchery here. But when we, when we do what's in alignment with us, it makes us smile. It makes us happy. Um, it does, it's not necessarily what makes others happy. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't compromise and it doesn't mean that sometimes we have to do the things we don't like to do, but we do what's for our 
highest and greatest good and we sort of let go of and I'm getting like a real strong Libra energy we let go of that overthinking we let go of other people's expectations we let go of you know what we what we think we should be doing and we really trust our higher selves um, you know is this something I'm going to commit to is this something I want to follow through on what do I want this end result to look like is that is that something that I can really you know is that something I can really really stick to so the devil energy obviously can indicate obsession so there may be somebody who's watching you Capricorn somebody that you didn't want to make a higher level commitment to um, it could even be a job situation um, but I feel like for many of you somebody that you didn't want to make a commitment to may be obsessively thinking about you of course it could be the other way around as well you could be watching you could be obsessing over somebody that you're not in a higher level commitment with or somebody who played you or somebody who's breadcrumbed you or something along those lines so just be aware of that energy okay but what you need to know the two of wands interesting so the two of wands is about you're ready for growth and expansion you're taking a look at you know you're taking a look at conflict you're looking at possible danger you're looking at possible outcomes you're looking at possible challenges but you're also seeing and what I love about look at his big strong back here and he's just very you know he's got this strong foundation I feel like you guys root chakra is coming through really strong and coincidentally when what I'm looking at right now is um, I'm seeing the Schumann's resonance here um, and that's a very sort of grounding energy so some of you may be working with the Schumann's resonance or you may need to because you're an earth sign so if you're feeling a little bit disoriented or you're feeling a little bit foggy or cloudy um, or if you've been doing a lot of sort of astral traveling it may be something that you need to do but what I'm seeing here is this is your energy you're looking at you know what this is what I want to conquer this is what I want this is the mountain that I want to climb for some of you guys it's putting time and effort into a connection that isn't quite solid or stable yet and for others of you you know I feel like you may have even turned away from somebody because or somebody or something because it could be a job it could be a living situation it could be something that you were pursuing because you see that there's something actually greater for you okay so do take this how it resonates and leave what doesn't but I feel like you're very grounded right now Capricorn and I feel like you're up for the challenge whatever this might be um, the outcome energy is the four of swords so this is an energy of healing um, God, I just heard cryogenics. Some of you guys might have been looking into that or some of you guys might do like be um, athletes and you might use sort of cryogenic, um, they have like therapy. I don't know, that's just for one or two of you. Um, but what I'm seeing here and what's kind of cool is I think you're also taking a look at anywhere that you've been overextending yourself or anything that's been really pulling you out of balance. Um, and I feel like you're going to either heal from a situation where you were being breadcrumbed or where somebody um, has, you know, somebody wasn't as committed to you. And I feel like you're just shifting your perspective. You're you're breaking yourself free from any anything that was sort of draining you financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And I just see that you have a lot of options out there, Capricorn. And um, you're really you're you're starting to weigh them up, and I think you're you're shifting your perspective. You're doing a little bit of course correction here because whatever this was, it wasn't really truly making you happy. And I think you've sort of, you've done your research, and spirit saying it's time to sort of to get it out of the mental body and bring it into reality. And I think you're really planning how you can ground this plan, this idea, this relationship, um, whatever this might be for you. So the overall energy is the three of swords. So there's definitely been some sort of heartbreak or disappointment. With that um, paid that Knight of Cups energy in reverse, Capricorn, many of you guys, you could have been dealing with a player um, or somebody that didn't want to make a higher level commitment. Or maybe it's you. Maybe you didn't want to make a higher level commitment to something because you realized that it was toxic or it wasn't lighting you up or it wasn't in alignment with who you are. And the three of swords, as you know, tragic as it is, you know, sometimes we do have to disappoint others. Um, but we we can't live our lives trying to please everyone and I think that's the realization that you're coming to it's time for you to heal it's time for you to recalibrate it's time for you to take a rest you've been through so much here Capricorn um, and I think you're preparing you're preparing for battle you're preparing for the next journey you're preparing to really take on this volcano here and I think you're in that research mode but spirit also says it may be time um, it's not exactly time to take action 
but it's time to you know start to think about bringing whatever this is out of the planning stages um, and it's also time to rest it's time to pull back your energy you've done so much here okay so let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for you. We have the five of fire. So I do see that there's an end of conflict coming for you. Um, I was going to call you guys cancer, so you might be dealing with a cancer. Um, but the five of fire tells me that all of these challenges, they haven't been happening to you, Capricorn. They've been happening for you. And look at how I just keep, I just see how strong and how masculine this energy is. Again, it's not a gender specific reading, but I feel like you guys are ready. You've been prepared. You've been preparing for this moment, like for a long time or many different lifetimes even. So you're really, you're up for the challenge. Okay. But the challenge here, Capricorn for some of you might be pulling back resting and relaxing because I feel like you guys are so accustomed to working and pushing forward and being there for everybody and doing everything and never wanting to let anybody down which is a very noble and beautiful way to be except if it's starting to drain you again financially spiritually emotionally all right, and so what I see here with the Three of Swords, some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a soulmate connection. For others of you, you may be dealing with siblings or family, um, and for others, it may be a career situation. But what I'm seeing here is there may be something that goes back to your childhood right now that needs to be looked at. We were all raised to some sort of degree in with this paradigm of the distorted masculine, um, and we've all sort of helped contribute to the way society operates um, to a certain degree. And that's really like a top-down structure. It's really an energy of I need to be producing, I need to be moving, I need to be a certain way in order to be successful. And I feel like that's really what you're reevaluating. All right, so we also get another five. So I do feel like there's an end of conflict for you guys, but I feel like it's gonna feel instantaneous. Like I feel like spirit's coming in um, to really call judgment on a situation or on a relationship um, to bring you more peace, to bring you healing. We have, it's it's incredible. In each and every one of these readings, there's been like a number sequence that's come out specifically for each sign. And you guys are getting 55, which is a powerful master number. It's about conflict, it's about change, fluctuation but it's also about instant manifestation and I feel like again something here is happening where there's something that just isn't working for you or something that just wasn't giving back after you've contributed so much to it that's being taken away but it's also it's building you up it's pre preparing you for the next big thing that's coming to you we get the nine of water. So some of you guys, you absolutely, some of you, you may be dealing with um, some sort of, uh, with somebody in your life or something having to do with excess that can be, you know, that can be food, drink, shopping, drugs, thinking, whatever it might be. It can be anything. Could be overworking for many of you guys as well. Um, but what I'm seeing is now you're, you're being asked to focus on what is your wish fulfillment. And you guys are absolutely walking away from anything that isn't emotionally fulfilling for you. Double confirmation now of the two of wands. For some of you, um, the two of wands, this is about this is about being at the planning stages. This is about being at a crossroads. I do feel like, you know, we see this person on this giraffe um, and she's a little bit defeated looking. She's a little bit tired. She's a little bit unsure. But what I'm what I'm seeing here is Capricorn with a little bit of rest, a lot of rejuvenation, trusting what lights you up. You're going to move out of this conflict and you're going to have the answers that you need. And it's so important that you don't make any snap decisions, that you allow yourself to lean into this energy and really focus on what it is that's going to be making you happy from here on out. So we do see the messenger of earth. Now these, this, in this deck, the, um, the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed we're not meant to read reversals. So the pages always bring, or messengers, they always bring, you guessed it, messages. So the messenger of earth here is telling me that there is a brand new beginning. Some of you, you might not feel quite ready. And that's what I was picking up on with the page of swords. But you know what, Capricorn, you absolutely are. You've been training for this for even lifetimes. So you're ready to step onto this new path, this new journey. You may have experienced a lot of delays and frustrations, but you're definitely shifting something some some sort of pattern some sort of habit some sort of imprinting on your nervous system it's gonna it's not gonna happen overnight but it's it is gonna feel that way but it really truly has been a long time coming here all right so let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for my dear Capricorns 
So I do see you being at a crossroads, but I also see you healing something. Um, and again, it could be heartbreak. It could be a betrayal or a disappointment, but a lot of my Capricorns out there as well, you're doing something, you're healing something that you've been carrying around with you from childhood. So I do pick up on you guys doing a lot of inner child work. All right, so we also get guardians of the land protection. I love this. So this is earth energy, which is you guys, and I love that big stag there because I'm getting really strong, powerful, masculine energy coming from this reading. So I really feel like you guys are stepping into this masculine energy. Again, not a gender specific reading. You could be male or female. So it's like about being very decisive, setting boundaries, and also just saying no to anything that's taking up your time or anything that is, um, you know, anything that's anything that's draining you so it could be people situations jobs some of you guys are just not willing to be overworked anymore you're figuring out how to work smarter not harder so we got two um we got two cards coming out for you we got number 15 um which is again now we're seeing double confirmation here of uh, the number 15 or the number six so we have five five six six or 15 could be important to you it is the number of your major arcana you guys and this is elves playfulness so some of you guys may be very connected to elemental beings or you might be sort of just you might be seeing little things moving in the corner of your eye or you might feel like you're misplacing a lot of things that's what I'm getting just be aware of that I feel like there's that playful elf spirit try to take things in stride but it's also time for you guys you know you guys have been very serious so you've been dealing with something here some of my Capricorns out there I feel like your childhood may have been difficult or you may have been forced to sort of grow up early or something happened and I feel like you're really being asked to recapture that and to heal that no matter how old you might be so doing the things that make you happy and that light you up and that bring you joy that sort of childlike joy and we see the ancient oak spirit so you guys have a lot of ancestry um, ancestral magic around you elemental magic that's helping you get your strength back because there is something here that has been sort of detrimental to you but you're absolutely purging and releasing it and you're starting a new journey a healthy new journey something that's much more balanced and I'm seeing you know it's funny because I had the Schumann's resonance up just by accident as I was sort of moving into this reading um, as I was starting this reading and I feel like many of you guys it is important that you get outside and you spend time in nature and for my dear Capricorns you know doing what the Japanese call you know a, a tree bath so walking around in meditation um, and absorbing and taking in you know the wisdom of the trees some believe trees are reincarnations of angels and there's so much to learn from them from them being so grounded and rooted and connected with one another but it allows them to grow higher um, taller and to really sort of um, you know have that umbrella effect so I feel like this is what's happening to you as well Capricorn a very very strong grounding and healing taking place for you with this new moon in cancer so we also see here a very powerful third eye sh chakra upgrade taking place now again I am doing this reading on the 7-7 portal um, which is July 7th but again whenever you come into this reading is when you are meant to see these messages but I do feel like you are getting um, an upgrade here with your third eye so you are awakening you're awakening to what no longer serves you you're awakening to what you may be dedicated to but that isn't giving back to you and with an intuitive perspective you're definitely seeing the bigger picture all right and I love this energy for you I just love this oak spirit that's coming through as well. Some of you guys, you acorns might be important to you, or um, I don't know if you've been in the woods lately, and you may have been like either. Sometimes you know you see or you hear things that fall from the trees above you, um, or maybe you heard a loud noise. I don't know, or something may have even hit your car, or I don't know. It's just some of you I feel like are walking. I have been outside lately and experienced that. So we see vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You're connected to cosmic intelligence, absolutely. So that third eye chakra is absolutely open, but it's so important also Capricorn that you're grounded. So it's sometimes for some of us, it's easy to go up and out into the universe and to meditate and to travel, but it's so important that we're grounded. All right, we get truth. So see your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. And that's what you're doing. That's what this reading is all about, Capricorn. And we get dreams. Ooh, delicious. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. So some of you, you may want to have a dream journal at this time um, or just pay attention to your dreams. Those of you, I'm getting some of you may not be accustomed or used to 
um, remembering your dreams. I feel like during this, this new moon in Cancer until we have this new moon in Leo that you guys are going to be seeing that your dreams are going to be much more prevalent, much more, they're going to be a little bit different than usual. And if you don't remember them, you will, I feel like many of you will start remembering your dreams. So it's important that you do, you write them down, you pay attention to them because many of you guys, I feel like you're purging and releasing either stuff that you've been carrying around with you from previous lifetimes or even childhood, because now really is the time here. All right, my dear Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.